Hi, Dr. Krejci here to tell you the three things that you need to know about cicatricial alopecia. First of all, what is cicatricial alopecia? Well, it's the medical term for scarring hair loss. Well, what is scarring hair loss? As a dermatologist, we split hair loss into two groups, scarring and non-scarring. The most common type of alopecia or hair loss is male pattern, female pattern hair loss, and that is non-scarring, it's genetic. On the other hand, scarring alopecia is things like LPP, also known as lichen planus pilaris, and CCCA, central centrifugal cicatricial alopecia. It's another mouthful. So number one, what kind of hair loss do you have? And number two, who's gonna diagnose you? Well, a board certified dermatologist is the best place to start. The ISHRS also has a doctor search where you can find a qualified uh, physician in your area that could possibly help you. Diagnosing cicatricial alopecia usually entails a biopsy. And it's a very small procedure that can be done in office and it's very quick. So the third thing you need to know when they come to me at the Limmer Hair Transplant Center is can they have a hair transplant? Usually the answer is no or at best maybe. Cicatricial alopecia is a condition where your body is attacking its own hair follicles. So if that's going on you certainly don't want to add more grafts in there or hairs in there that could possibly be attacked. So. Number one, you find out what kind of hair loss you have. Is it scarring or is it non-scarring? You find the doctor that can diagnose you and treat you because the medications and the treatment plan is gonna be very different for those two types of alopecia, scarring versus non-scarring. And then third, you need to know whether or not you're a hair transplant candidate. And so start with number one and two and you'll be on your way. Thanks.